You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Judge Inc. for Cedar's fifth entrepreneurial coal lands redevelopment program challenge took place Thursday at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Earlier, Mountain Top spoke with Cedar President John Justice about the challenge. It's a high school program where students, of uh, a, a team of five students from each school, uh, they're invited to create a new business idea that would either add value to their community or solve a problem. And then they find a uh, previously mined site uh, to repurpose, to place their new business on. And then they do a, uh, a business plan uh, about their new business. Uh, it's a comprehensive uh, business plan, uh, including all components of a, uh, a regular plan. And then they do a model, uh, either a virtual model or a physical model, like a 3D model, to depict their business footprint on their previously mined site location. And so this program started six months ago, and they've been through three different workshops in, in the three different areas of, the, uh, of their site and of their business and of their model. Schools present for the challenge were Phelps High School, McGoffin County High School, and Moorhead State University's Craft Academy. Students expressed their plans for bringing businesses to our area. So our project is going to be the Tug Guide Service, Tug Fork Guide Service, and we're going to guide people along the Tug Fork River, and it's going to be based in an old coal camp uh, schoolhouse that was on the edge of a coal camp in Majestic, uh, Kentucky, around Phelps area, and we're going to base it there because it's a mile away from the river, and that's going to be our main source of income, main focal point of the project, is the guides along the river uh, for different fish and all that stuff. But we're also going to have other funds like the uh, base uh, headquarters is going to have a store in a year-round store uh, stocked with a bunch of stuff because there's uh, stores are not plentiful in the area and lodging as well for tourists and adventure seekers and all that stuff local or afar. We wanted to bring a business into our community because right now we don't really have any recreational activities for the youth to do so we wanted to build on that so we did a recreational zip lining and our location for our business is on a previous coal mining site and our community has really um, been impacted by coal related jobs and we're hoping to um, showcase that with our business. So our project is known as Compass, which is Center of Mental Health Progress for Adolescent Success. So basically it's an alternative school for students in Pike County and the surrounding region and it's basically to increase mental health and it provides a service of eight different therapies to help students and the community. During the showcase, five judges reviewed projects for winning prizes. Executive Director of Governor's School for Entrepreneurs, Natasha Sams, says she hopes the competition ignites a passion for entrepreneurship. Well, for the students, I certainly hope it ignites a passion for entrepreneurship for them that they carry with them to wherever they go in their future. You know, at the heart of entrepreneurship, it's solving problems and meeting needs. And if they can tackle that at an early age and really get into the mindset of an entrepreneur, truthfully, there's nothing that they can't overcome or accomplish as they go through their life. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.